Honestly, I wasn't even sure if I should make a video on Chainsaw Man Chapter 130 because there's not really anything to talk about. There's not really any story progression or any more theorizing we can do just from this chapter alone. But I figured you guys have kind of come to expect a Chainsaw Man chapter review and I'd feel a little weird if I reviewed the last 20 chapters and then all of a sudden just skipped one. So instead, I'll just make this a very short video, kind of similarly to the short chapter. Uh, what this chapter does really well is capture a lot of great artwork, and I think that that might go underappreciated because there's not really a whole lot of progression kind of going on here. I think, actually, let me use this as an opportunity to talk about this phenomenon in following manga as it comes out chapter by chapter because this is true not just with Chainsaw Man but with a lot of other stories as well is because I think that we get a little bit um what's not not the word entitled I think spoiled I think we get a little bit spoiled because when you come into a series generally if you're not there from the very beginning you have dozens of chapters to enjoy all at once you know this is particularly true with like berserk which has like a 30 year history you know 40 some volumes that people just binge you know and go through really really quickly and read a whole bunch of chapters all within one weekend sometimes like i know some people that read like the entire story in like one weekend it's crazy um space it out enjoy yourself man binge culture is not the way uh anyways so when you catch up to a series, it gets a little bit more difficult because you're no longer carrying that momentum with you. It's not like you get to the end of a chapter with a cliffhanger and then you immediately go to the next one and then you go to the next one and you just constantly have this like spike of emotion that is going all the way through. And then when you're waiting, you know, weeks or months for a chapter, Chainsaw Man has been kind of bi-weekly lately. And so you have that hype, you have that momentum, and especially right now because we're in a giant action sequence and then it just kind of cuts without much progression and you're kind of left a little bit blue balled. You know, you're kind of like I was expecting more, which I completely understand. But I think if you go back and you read the chapters all at once, if you read the last 10 chapters in one straight run, I don't think that you're going to feel uh let down by any chapter you know i think it keeps the momentum going but you have to read the chapters in unison to get that so when you're reading it week to week you kind of lose a little bit of a spark you have the hype for like being excited for the chapter to come out but then you kind of lose that that story you know progression element and you kind of have to get your brain back into the story and then you go back into the chapter and then the chapter just ends immediately and now you're kind of left with it again. So I don't think it's the chapter's fault and I don't think Chainsaw Man is going downhill or anything like that. I just think because the chapters are sh so short in general and the releases are bi-weekly, it just makes it feel like not much is happening. But if you go back and read like 10 chapters in a row, a lot has happened within 10 chapters time. Uh, as far as this chapter, you know, the artwork is pretty incredible. I'm not really uh, somebody that can critique artwork like that. I can see art that I really enjoy, and I can tell that a lot of time and effort goes into it, but uh, not being an artist myself, I can't tell you how long it would be to draw a skyscraper breaking in half and falling on the populace and creating a giant explosion. It looks cool, uh, but I can't tell you like the amount of time that went into that, but I'm pretty sure it was a lot. So. You know, it doesn't seem like a lot, but to be able to draw a chapter like this, you know, you have Chainsaw Man and Asa on a motorcycle that has been transformed into a chainsaw driving on the side of building scapes as tentacles are attacking them, as explosions are happening, as uh, the falling devil has broken a giant skyscraper in half and basically throws it at them while this weird tentacle dude is like opening up his nutsack to swallow them. There's just a lot of shit going on. Uh, that probably would have taken a really long time to draw, so I really respect that uh, and the level of detail into it. Um, but that's basically it. So uh, I love that Denji thinks that he's the one that transformed the motorcycle. Like, why would he be able to do that? He's never done anything like that before, but he just assumes since he's driving it and it's a chainsaw, oh, I must have done this. I really like that. That's pretty awesome. I love how Asa doesn't even bother to correct him. It's just like, there's no time. I don't care, you know. Um, so she's saying to evade the tentacles because that's what the fake chainsaw man had said, which we still don't know who that is or what that reveal is going to be like. And the tentacle creature, which is a pretty cool looking creature design, 
uh, kind of, uh, it seems like he senses where they are with the tentacles, like sort of like an octopus or something. Like they all have like their individual nerve endings so they can kind of feel where something is. And he like makes one of the tentacles transform into himself. So it's kind of like wherever the tentacles are, he can go and form into that location. So I kind of like that. That was cool. Uh, the creature looks awesome. And then, yeah, it like opens up. It's like, not it's nutsack. It's, it's guts. It kind of reminded me of like a... Um, you ever see like Alien versus Predator and at the end they have the Predator alien hybrid and it opens up its mouth and it's kind of both. That's kind of what this reminded me of. I don't know. Uh, <laughs> it just reminded me of that. Uh, anyways, but that's basically it. And there's not there's not really too much else going on here. So I don't want to take up too much of your time. Uh, I don't want to have to drag the video out to like 10, 15 minutes to, you know, get more ad revenue or whatever because there's not a lot to talk about. But I just wanted to mention that one fact of waiting for chapters and just I think the creature design is cool. I think the artwork looks, art, uh, artwork looks great. But other than that, there's not really a whole lot to talk about. So uh, tell me what you guys saw the chapter down below. I'd, uh, I'd love to hear your guys' thoughts. Also, if you are into Chainsaw Men... Uh, I actually did a giant review on the Evil Dead franchise, which Ash, the character, attaches a chainsaw to his severed hand, or it's, his hand gets severed and he puts a chainsaw on. Anyways, I made a giant deep dive analysis video of that, so if you guys would like to check that out, I'd really appreciate it. It took a lot of time and effort to create. Uh, it's starting to spike up in views a little bit more, but if you guys could help push it even more than that, I'd be really appreciative. So check that out if you like Chainsaw Men. Beyond that, guys, thanks for watching. Links below in the description, uh, channel memberships, yada yada. I'll talk to you guys later.